Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change your past using the energy of gratitude. With the study of quantum physics, we're all learning that it's possible now to have access to all time at once, that place which contains our whole being. You could say where divinity resides, or source, where, which is everything, which is everywhere and where we can have access to what's called the quantum field and engage and interact with both past and future memories. Every day, many ordinary people like you and me are tapping into this quantum field and are creating changes like manifesting a happier future as well as healing past traumatic experiences. What makes this quantum field so incredible is that changes can happen quickly and without too much effort or digging on our part. When I speak of this reality of changing our past, I am considering for this video here today that these are conscious memories of unwanted or difficult situations that have happened to us compared to happier experiences. Anything that has taken place in our past, both wanted or unwanted, was perfect and that it simply happened the way it did. And there's no use in blaming yourself, nor should you deny what, what has happened. However, memories and their adjoined emotions, what they do is they get lodged into our body, into our nervous system, form specific neural pathways, as scientists like Dr. Bruce Lipton have proven with neuroscience and epigenetics. They can not only affect our DNA, but also the psychological sense of self and our emotional and spiritual aspects too. Now I understand there may be many traumas that lie well below the surface in our subconscious, those we are unaware of, but for this video, um, the simple yet powerful tool how to change your past with gratitude is specific to those conscious known unwanted memories, those experiences and situations that we do remember. Now, recalling a past event, whether it happened 40 years ago or just yesterday, can constitute a number of emotions, both of a higher light frequency or that of a lower one. When we take a moment or two during the day to change the past lower frequency event and replace it with gratitude, we are then constructing new neural pathways in our nervous system by replacing the old event with a higher frequency emotion. So in this case, gratitude. Thus, we are not only affecting the biology, but are positively changing our present moment and all future moments after that. Use your imagination to go back to some time, event, some situation that was undesirable for you and find something there to be grateful for. Let's say, uh, for example, you have or you had a boss who was criticizing your work. Perhaps you can be grateful or appreciative that he, she, or they cares enough about you to want your work to be better. Or that you're grateful that they didn't criticize your favorite coworker instead. Perhaps you are appreciative how she is dedicated to the company. It really could be anything. And it really doesn't matter whether or not these thoughts are true because the energy of gratitude itself is meant to replace the unwanted emotion linked to this experience. So you can choose any situation from your past. It could have been a particular parent you had difficulty with, a car accident, a teacher, a friend, some experience with them, even the loss of a loved one. Just choose some aspect from a difficult past experience to be grateful for, anything. Gratitude will create new chemistries in the body and move you to a higher frequency destination. It will subsequently shift the events in time and your perceptions of the situation will also change. After a short time of your focus, I know you will begin to experience some remarkable shifts in your life. Know that any effort you put forth with this will initiate change. Try it out. So take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the light side of life.